step into the world of a classic 1974 TV series that goes beyond mere sitcom status, it's a glimpse into real life that has left a lasting impression on the entertainment scene. Good Times, recognized for its relatable characters and humor, invites you into the daily struggles and triumphs of the Evans family. But here's the twist, this series isn't just about laughter. There are moments that will make you smile, others that will surprise you, and some that will touch your heart. So why not stick around? There's a roller coaster of emotions waiting for you. As you explore the world of good times, consider this what qualities make this TV series a timeless symbol of the industry. Is there a particular scene or moment that has stuck with you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear your cherished memories or personal experiences with this iconic series. Your stories add a special touch to the journey through good times. So drop your memories below, we'd love to hear them. And remember, there are many more funny, surprising, and poignant moments in the episodes to come. Keep watching and join the conversation. Your thoughts matter. Good Times, the 1974 TV series, continues to be remembered in television history, leaving a lasting impression on entertainment. Several factors contribute to its significance. Firstly, the portrayal of the Evans family facing real-life struggles with resilience and humor deeply resonated with audiences. The relatable characters allow wood viewers to connect with their triumphs and challenges, making the series more than just a sitcom. It became a mirror reflecting various aspects of everyday life, creating a connection beyond the screen. The show's ability to evoke a range of emotions sets it apart. While laughter was a constant, Good Times also surprised its audience with unexpected twists and touching moments that tugged at the heartstrings. This emotional roller coaster, along with authentic storytelling, endeared the show to viewers and solidified its place as a timeless symbol of the industry. Furthermore, Good Times addressed relevant social issues of the era, such as poverty, racism, and inequality. The writers skillfully weaved these themes into the narrative, providing thought-provoking commentary on the challenges faced by the Evans family and society as a whole. This socially conscious approach contributed to the show's ongoing relevance as its messages still hold resonance in contemporary conversations. The show's influence extends beyond its initial run, shaping the trajectory of African-American representation in media. It paved the way for more diverse and authentic storytelling, breaking new ground in portraying African-American families on television. In essence, Good Times remains a powerful example of genuine storytelling, relatable characters, and a willingness to confront societal issues. Its influence on the entertainment industry, coupled with its lasting significance, ensures that the series continues to captivate audiences and spark conversations to this day. Delving into the behind-the-scenes tales of the 1974 TV series, Good Times reveals fascinating moments during its production. Picture this, the chemistry between the cast members was palpable, extending beyond the scripted scenes. In one instance, during the filming of an emotional moment, the actors found themselves so immersed in their roles that the crew couldn't help but be moved by the authenticity on set. The camaraderie among the cast wasn't limited to on-screen dynamics. Off-camera, the actors shared laughter and built a family bond that mirrored the Evans family's resilience and humor. The energy on set was infectious, translating into genuine and relatable performances cherished by viewers. Now, let's talk bloopers, those delightful hiccups that add spontaneity to any production. Good Times had its fair share of amusing slip-ups. In one memorable incident, an unexpected prop malfunction led to an impromptu dance sequence that had everyone in stitches. It's these unscripted moments that added an extra layer of charm to the series, showcasing the actor's ability to navigate the unexpected seamlessly. Behind the scenes, the writers played a crucial role in shaping the storyline of good times. There were instances where the script underwent revisions to address pressing social issues of the time, injecting a dose of reality into the story. The dedication to weaving relevant themes into the narrative highlighted the show's commitment to authenticity and societal reflection. As the series progressed, so did its socially conscious storytelling. Good Times didn't just entertain, it confronted issues like poverty, racism, and inequality head-on, leaving a lasting impression on television. The ability to balance humor with poignant commentary showcased the versatility of the show and its ongoing relevance in sparking meaningful conversations. In conclusion, the behind-the-scenes stories of Good Times are as varied as the series itself. 
From unscripted dance numbers to the genuine connections among the cast, each anecdote adds another layer to the story of this timeless TV series. It's a journey worth cherishing, filled with laughter, surprises, and moments that connect with audiences across generations. Jimmy J.J. Walker's catchphrase, Die No MIT, became a cultural phenomenon in the 1970s, securing its place as the 14th top catchphrase in TV Guide's ranking. The catchphrase encapsulates the spirit of that era. Janet Dubois and Chip Fields, portraying crucial roles in the series, share a noteworthy connection they celebrate the same birthday six years apart. Dubois, born on August 5, 1945, and Fields, born on August 5, 1951, bring a unique synchronicity to their portrayals of Penny's adopted and birth mothers, respectively. The socio-political context had a significant impact on the show. Black Panther activists confronted Norman Lear, questioning the portrayal of characters' lives in a slum, the pervasive poverty, crime, and stereotypical depictions of the black experience. This confrontation spurred the creation of the Jeffersons, presenting a more positive and upwardly mobile image of a black family. In the background of production, the camaraderie among cast members extended beyond the scripted scenes. An emotional moment during filming showcased the actors' immersion in their roles, leaving the crew moved by the authenticity on set. Off-camera, the cast shared laughter, forming a familial bond reflective of the Evans family's resilience and humor. Bloopers added a spontaneous charm to the series. An unexpected prop malfunction once led to a delightful impromptu dance sequence, showcasing the actor's ability to navigate unforeseen circumstances seamlessly. These unscripted moments enhanced the show's appeal, creating an additional layer of charm. Behind the scenes, the writers played a pivotal role, addressing pressing social issues through script revisions. This commitment to authenticity and societal reflection underscored the show's dedication to meaningful storytelling. The evolving socially conscious narrative of the series not only entertained, but also confronted issues like poverty, racism, and inequality head-on, contributing to its ongoing relevance. In conclusion, the show transcends its sitcom status by delving into real-life struggles and triumphs, leaving an impact on television history. From catchphrases to behind-the-scenes camaraderie and social commentary, it continues to resonate with audiences, sparking conversations across generations. Its complexity lies not only in its humor, but in its ability to mirror and confront the complexities of the human experience. In a standout episode of The Wayans Bros, Season 4, titled Unspoken Token, Sean experiences a dream where he becomes J.J. Evans. In this dream sequence, the original cast members, including Bernadette Stannies, Johnny Brown, and Janet Dubois, who also played Sean and Marlon's grandmother, reunite. It's interesting to note the age differences among the cast. John Amos, who played the patriarch James Evans, was 8 years older than J.J. Walker and a staggering 14 years older than Bernadette Stannies. During its early seasons, Good Times faced direct competition with Happy Days, airing at the same time on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Surprisingly, Good Times emerged as the ratings champ for the first two years, pushing Happy Days towards the brink of cancellation. However, Happy Days rebounded by centering the show around Fonzie, its teen idol, introducing catchphrases like Ayi and Kulamundo, and incorporating a live audience. This strategic revamp propelled Happy Days to the number one spot in the ratings, overpowering its competition. The strategic maneuvers between these two series highlight the intense rivalry of the era, where each show sought to secure its foothold in the competitive television landscape. This historical showdown reflects the cutthroat nature of the industry and the constant evolution required for survival. The behind-the-scenes tales, age dynamics among the cast, and fierce competition with Happy Days add layers of complexity to the narrative of this influential series. These aspects, combined with the show's ability to address social issues head-on, contribute to its lasting significance in the television landscape. It's a clear example of how good times shaped conversations across generations, 